from the lands of the Anishinaabe to the Atawandaran, the Haudenosaunee and the Métis. The lands surrounding the Great Lakes are steeped with indigenous history. We acknowledge and thank the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation for being stewards of this territory. We acknowledge with respect the history, spirituality, and culture of the indigenous peoples with whom the Upper Canada Treaties were signed and the territory wherein our church resides and our responsibility as treaty members. We also honor the heritage and gifts of Métis people. May our actions be guided by our commitment to reconciliation. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and illumine your church. He was praying in a certain place, and after he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone indebted to us. And do not bring us to this time of trial. And he said to them, Suppose one of you has a friend, and you go to him at midnight and say to him, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived, and I have nothing to set before him. And he answers from within, Do not bother me, the door has already been locked and my children are with me in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not get up and give me give him anything, because he is his friend, at least because of his persistence, he will get up and give him whatever he needs. So I say to you, ask, and it will be given to you. Search and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened for you. For everyone who asks receives, and everyone who searches finds, and for everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Is there anyone among you who, if your child asks for a fish, will give a snake instead of a fish? Or if your child asks for an egg, will give a scorpion? If you, then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him?
My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you, Lord, have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you, from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm, and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. You have come to the aid of your servant Israel to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. In peace let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For this holy house, and for all who offer through here their worship and praise, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For the health of creation, for abundant harvest that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place. Let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For all who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, And for those who are in captivity, let us pray to our God. God, 
have mercy. For our deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For all servants of the church, for this assembly, and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For all those living with any kind of mental illness, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For the lonely, the hungry, the abused, and the homeless, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious God. Giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest. Rejoicing in the communion of Saint Elizabeth. And with all the saints, we commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you. Through Christ our God, to you, O God. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Thanks be to God. The peace of God which passes all understanding keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always.